Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck and wanted to do a video on how systems that used to be, especially back when I first got started, could be mismatched. Uh, a lot of times different brands, different ages and so on. R22 was uh, very forgiving. Uh, a lot of cases, things could be mismatched. I even saw systems that would be different sizes and you know you would just adjust your refrigerant levels and airflow and all that good stuff and it, you know it was very forgiving you could make make it work right and you know efficiency wasn't even a thing you know as long as it worked and it cooled the house and all that uh, those days are over uh, you know with 410a especially you know the pressures are a lot higher it's not forgiving at all uh, you got to have it almost dead on uh, as far as your refrigerant levels for that system to operate properly. As time has gone on, we now have what we call AHRI match. Uh, you know, so what they'll do is they'll take systems and they will test them. The manufacturers, when they design them and engineer them and all that stuff, they've got to get it certified, AHRI match certified, uh, to be able to even sell the systems in America. I don't know about outside this country. Also, I just want to say if you have a system and you want to check and see if it is a match or, you know, on the AHRI website, I'll put a link to the site down below. And uh, that website, ahrinet.org, is designed for, you know, you, me, anybody to be able to look up that system and make sure that you know it's kosher you know that the the manufacturer has said that it will work together and i don't want to mislead you there are brands out there that can be matched with other brands uh you know there are some companies like say unico that they make an air handler small duct high velocity that can be matched with other outdoor units but in a lot of cases you know if you're talking about you know just a say a, a train heat pump system that outdoor unit being an ahri match for the indoor unit and they're also going to give you the sear ratings between the two uh, telling you how efficient it is so if you have a system that you know you match you have an outdoor unit you match it with this air handler or coil it might be 14 sear but then you match it with this other setup or adding a TXV and it might be 14 and a half, maybe 15 or even 15 and a half sear. Uh, just depends. And the way you find that out is you look on AHRI. The other thing I wanted to mention is if you break the rules, if you will, if you have a system that's not an AHRI match, um, there are consequences in some cases. Uh, some manufacturers will not even honor their warranties if you have mismatched equipment. So, you know, we call in for a part, they ask for the model and serial number of the outdoor unit, and sometimes they'll even ask for the indoor unit. They wanna see that it is an AHRI match, it was installed properly, and we've ran into that uh, with a few manufacturers. Some manufacturers are great, and they're gonna honor their warranties anyway, uh, but there's one particular manufacturer that uh, I'm not going to mention it in this video. If you want to know, you can message me. But there's one particular manufacturer that they look for reasons to not honor their warranties. Um, I hate them <laughs> for that reason and many others. But uh, we've just had some experiences with them. That said, uh, you know, if you're not sure, if you're, you know, about to have your system say replaced or installed and you're like is you know what's what's all this about is it an ahri match you know i'm thinking about doing a mobile home furnace but i want to add a coil and put a heat pump on it instead of a straight ac and things like that sometimes those might be different brands you want to make sure that you know everything's kosher and it's an ahri match a lot of times you can directly ask your contractor say hey look can i get the certificate you know or you might be applying for, you know, a, a, some sort of rebate or a tax write-off, you know, because of the system and you need that certificate. I would say most good contractors will have no problems sending you that certificate. They may have to look it up and then send it to you, but, you know, giving you the certificate showing you that it is an AHRI match and that it's this year and it's, you know, this and that. 
anyway i hope that helps if you have any questions on any of this or if you're not sure if something's a match or something's weird just leave a comment down below a lot of the questions that you guys have on this sort of stuff is uh you know good because then it, you know gives me a chance to answer that and you might be helping someone else as well so thanks for watching with all that said, if you're in our coverage area and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, give us a call. We'll give you a free estimate. We'll give you a great warranty, the best warranty, I think, in the area. And, you know, we'd love to earn your business. If you're not in our coverage area, but you're in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. And the whole idea behind this website is just like a CPA would help you with your taxes, this is gonna help you with the purchase of, in a lot of cases, the third largest investment that you're gonna make. Uh, behind your house, behind your car, a lot of folks, their heating and air system is the third largest investment. With that said, we put so much information on there. I, it's almost as if I wrote a book, decided not to because it, as soon as I do, it's gonna be outdated. New technology comes out, new all kinds of information comes out and so this website is like a book but it's constantly being added and changed you know we even have a whole page called no-nos things to stay away from things that you want to avoid in your pursuit of purchasing a heating and air system and we just have this step-by-step -step guide so newhvacguide.com and lastly, please subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate your support and stay tuned for more videos, tips, tricks, and uh, appreciate it. Thank you.